Hi, I'm Mike Marin, and in this video, we'll talk about how to conduct the paired t-test and confidence interval using R. The paired t-test and confidence interval are parametric methods appropriate for examining the difference in means for two populations that are paired or dependent on one another. We will work with data involving measurements on systolic blood pressure before and then after receiving some treatment. We can see that the data consists of 25 paired observations with subject numbers, before measurements, and after measurements. I've already imported the data into R and attached it. We will explore the change in systolic blood pressure from before treatment to after treatment. We can use the t.test command in R to conduct the paired t-test. To access the help menu, type help and in brackets the name of the command you would like help for, or simply place a question mark in front of the name of the command. Before performing the test, we can go ahead and examine a box plot of the data, comparing the before and the after measurements. We can see some evidence that the blood pressure after treatment is lower on average. We may want to look at a plot that allows us to see the data as paired or the changes in individuals. There are many ways that one can do this. Here is one of them. We may produce a scatter plot of the before and the after measurements. We may also add a 45 degree line to this plot using the AB line argument. Here we will add a line that has an intercept of 0 and a slope of 1. This 45 degree line is a line for x equal to y or before equal to after. If there is no change in blood pressure, points should fall on this diagonal line and be equally scattered above or below the line. If there is a decrease in blood pressure after treatment, more points should fall below the line than above. Now, let's go ahead and conduct the paired t-test. We can use a null hypothesis that the mean difference in systolic blood pressure is zero, and let's use a two-sided alternative. We can do the paired t-test using the t.test command. Here we'd like to compare the before and the after measurements. We can set the mu argument equal to zero to let R know we would like to test if the mean difference is zero. We can set the alt argument equal to two-sided to have a two-sided test. We can set the paired argument equal to true to let R know the data is paired and we would like the paired t-test. We can use the conf.level argument to let R know the level of confidence we would like. Here, let's use a 99% confidence level. We can see the test statistic of 3.88, the p-value of 0.000698, our 99% confidence interval that runs from 2.245 up to 13.754 and the sample mean difference of 8. It's worth noting that the order we enter the before and the after in will not change things significantly although we should still make sure to pay attention to the order we have entered them in. For example, if instead we entered after and then before our results will involve after measurements minus before measurements. The only thing that will change is the sign of things. We can see the sample mean difference is negative 8 instead of 8. In the next video in this series, we will discuss the Wilcoxon signed rank test, a non-parametric equivalent to the paired t-test. Thanks for watching this video and make sure to check out my other instructional videos.